Hello everyone and welcome back to series 3 of uh, Lawrence Plays Factorio Space Exploration. Yes, this is the first episode of the new series. Well, the first real episode. The, um, the summary and catch up one doesn't really count. So, I've um, got my to-do list here and I've added, a, added a, a little bit to it. So I've realised that I'm very short of plastic and fairly short of sulphur. Um, and that's because... Let's close that down for now. Um, because over here... I set up my plastic and sulphur production a long time ago, and it's it's not remotely keeping up. I I switched a bit in the middle here over to doing um, doing plastic doing no this part of it anyway. I switched from doing sulphur to doing um, no doing plastic to doing sulphur because I did because I ran out of sulphur and now I've run out of plastic instead. So there's just not enough stuff going on here. I need to I've got plenty. I reckon I've got plenty of um, oil processing and plenty of coal liquefaction going on up here. But I'm not I'm not using it and turning it into plastic quickly enough. So I think I'm probably going to run off the um, off this uh, pipe up here and just have some more plastic and sulphur production going on here, and then bring in some stations from this railway line at the top. Probably. I mean, knowing me, I'll probably change my mind about it and do something completely different. But for now, that'll that'll do. Or maybe I'll get rid of this ammo stop station here, loop that background here, and put something in coming out this way. There's there's plenty of possibilities anyway, but something needs to be, something needs to be done about it because I don't have enough. And that leads nicely on to the uh, the next thing in the list, which is the mass production of rocket parts. And I've made a big start on that over here. So we've got this massive facility over here that's just starting to run now. Um, and this is going is in theory is going to produce all of the bits that are needed for the rocket parts. So down here we're making the um, what do we call it? The fuel tanks um, in in larger quantities, or at least we will be once we've got enough um, iron. I think yes, it's iron we're short of at the moment coming in here. Um, and then up here we've got again the same sort of thing with the uh, with the with the cargo pods. Then a massive system here making lots and lots of uh, glass up to feed it into making the uh, heat shield tiles. Then we're making loads of batteries, and all of that is going in here to be made into. Um, into the uh, rocket control modules. I think I've got some. I thought, yes, here we go. Yeah, the, the the glass is largely for the um, for the low density structures, but also for the heat shield tiles. Then once we've got all once we've got all of that, we can then start making the rocket sections. And then I've got a single little machine up here at the top to stack those rocket sections and dump them onto it, dump them onto a belt. And all of this is being fed by trains. So we've got red circuits, iron, copper. What's going on here? There's a piece. Of... There we go. Let's fix that. Uh, stone steel, green circuits, and plastic. As I said, plastic we're out we've run out of. Stone bricks, sulfur, blue circuits, and then eventually we'll have the um the the rocket section starting to dribble out here. And they'll come out relatively slowly because whilst this is an enormous factory, there's I don't know how many how many assembly machines in here and, and I've looked in and I've I've been playing around with beacons and uh, modules for all of these as well. So these should run a bit faster than uh, normal. Um, and more, more, more product productively than normal as well. And so all of this should be a bit faster than um, than expected. Oh, the iron's made it through. So the problem I've run into is I I, um, I didn't have enough underground blue underground. I didn't have enough blue belts in general, but it was the underground ones that were the real shortage. And now that we've got those coming through, I th now we've got that. It's, it's only we're only waiting on the plastic. So hopefully everything will start to start to build up now. So yeah, as you can imagine, this took rather a lot of. Um, of blue belts in order to build the whole thing up and my system over here 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 for building them was not keeping up in any any sort so i've um i've killed this I've, by going in here I've, I've 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 limited this chest to zero so it's just not being used because the basically my limiting factor was how fast i was making cogs and there wasn't really much space to put more in here so i built another facility up way up near the top here this is making a uh, blue belts that are ridiculous rate um, and it turns out you need something like 30 assembly machines making uh, <laughs> making gears in order to keep up with two machines making blue belts um, but those are now running very nice we've got like 7,000 of them there and that's a good thing because <clears throat> not only am I using enormous numbers of blue belts for this facility I put down the blueprints for the rest of my um, uh, I put I started making a my new vulcanite smelting a uh, vulcanite based smelting facility down here that I've been talking about earlier I did a little bit of a trial by carrying some vulcanite down by hand um, after building this one up. This, so this is the copper one, as you can see by the, uh, the copper ore flowing in. <coughs> and it needs a lot of vulcanite in order to keep it going. because 
because the idea is each each of these machines will have half a belt of copper or each of these blocks will have half a belt of copper and half a belt of vulcanite going into into them and with the, the number of modules in I've, I've i've played around with this a bit in creative mod and this seems to be about the right level of balance to get it working as i want it to and it seems and it seems to work rather nicely so i'm, I'm yeah i'm pleased with it um, and now, so this is going. This is producing something like um, two copper plates for every copper ore that goes in. So it's it's very very efficient, and that's partly down to the um, using the, the the recipe that involves vulcanite because that's about 50% more efficient. Um, so as you see here, we get this is this is a one to one uh, recipe, whereas this one is an eight to twelve plus a vulcanite, admittedly. Um, so you get 50% extra from that, and then these are running at um, where is it plus 40% productivity. So 150% times 1.4 is pretty much 200%. Two, two, so, yeah, this is going to be um, much, much more efficient. And so I'm also going to be doing the same thing for iron and stone bricks and steel as well. Steel is, of course, the, uh, the double system here. Now, this this one isn't going to be quite as effective because you um, with, with, the, uh, with, with steel you don't get the... Um, you can't do the vulcanite processing to get the extra boost. There isn't a recipe for that. Or at least if there is a recipe, I haven't discovered it yet. So this is just going to be making making it at the higher rate and then just smelting it as normal in these in these in these machines. But they're still faster anyway. These run at crafting speed four, whereas the, the ones I had over the on the other side of the base are much, much slower. And this is going to require an enormous quantity of blue belts as well. So as you can see, this is going to be <laughs> a bit of a, a big job, as the Nack McFeagles say. So what I need to do is I need to squeeze in some more um, uh, robo ports along here for the for these the systems to run off. So I'm going to put one there, one there. Actually, I only need those two, don't I? Because that'll cover the whole that'll cover, cover the whole thing. Uh, yes, yes, it will. So I can do that, and then we'll get a massive flood of um, bots coming down to build up all of this stuff. And I'm going to need an oh, oh, and I need one more over here for the railways as well. So I've gone in. I'm not sure where I'm going to fit this one in. Maybe there. That yeah, that'll do. I think. Yes, it will. And then similarly, down here. Is there one front? Okay, I'll put one in here because that's just inside that um, that pylon. And I think on this one, I'm going to need to put them in just off the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to need to pull up some of these belts because I can't fit that one in there. So that's, that's a bit of a shame. I put these. Obviously, put these a little bit closer together. Like that that is in. Is it in range of them? Yeah, that'll be in range, that's fine. And then the same over here, directly below this one. Oh, here come the... <laughs> there's all of the uh, the bots coming in to remove the trees. That's good. Let's try and line that up. There we go. I do really... I, I like having the uh, the massive swarms of bots coming in to do things like that. There's all taking out huge quantities of trees and putting in huge quantities of belts. So in a moment... Yeah, they all go off with the... Um, so, well, to recharge and then to take the wood away. And then we should get another bot flood like that. Yeah, they're all going off up here now to get the other uh, blue belts and then they're going to flood down and, and build all of this up. So that's, um, that's, uh, we're getting on quite well. So we've got the increased plastic and sulfur production. That's something I've just, well, realised relatively recently. So I haven't started that yet. Mass production of rocket parts is built. It's just waiting for the plastic to come in. Smelting with vulcanite, I'm talking about here. That's building up all of this. And the next thing is shipping res resources around by rocket. So one of the things I'm doing for that is building up this spaceport over here. So this is just the sort of the first first couple of parts of it. So what we're going to have here is this rocket pad is going to be for, um, for vulcanite to arrive on. So I'm going to build up another new facility on another planet to ship ship vulcanite in by rocket. So we'll get a rocket dropping in here, 500 stacks of vulcanite. Bam, drop it in here. They'll get unloaded onto these two belts, and I think these. Um, these inserters should be, should be more than up to the task. So we'll get two two full blue belts of, of, of it running over to here, which will then load up into these chests, and it can be trained off to wherever it's needed. Also, I've got the um, machine here. Uh, I forget what that's supposed to be. What that one's supposed to be for? Oh, that's for that's that's going to be for um, uh, what's what's name? Um, rocket pods. This one un unloads all of the rocket sections that are coming back from reuse. We'll dump them into this machine here that'll stack them. And then they'll go up this, this belt here, and then they'll be rejoined into the into what's being produced here. So this station is going to be for unloading the, uh, the stacked rocket sections that, that are being made just over here. And yeah, I probably could have run a belt over, but I, I don't know. I like trains, just in case I ever build up any more somewhere else. And then they're going to be loaded into this, this rocket 
launch pod that's going to be taking off those sections off to rockets elsewhere. And I've done a few things here that I'm um, reasonably pleased with. So, as you might remember, I've had issues in the past with um, rocket with trying to build trying to build rockets. And over here, we've we've had this issue where um, you get yeah it has been this one where the where the rocket gets so full of all of the stuff you wanted to take somewhere there's no room for the rocket section to be put into it in order to in order to um uh, build the rocket so you, you get to a point where the rocket can't launch because it has been finished but it can't be finished because it's too full for you to put in the extra rocket sections so what i've done down here is i've wired this wired up the um where am i here the inserters so this one will load rocket sections in whenever it's less than 100 but this one will only load in the cargo when it's equal to 100. That should probably be a stack inserter, actually. Um, and so we won't start loading it until it's been finished being built. And so that'll that'll prevent that problem from happening. And I'm gonna then I'm gonna have more of these up here with different resources being loaded in. So maybe coal or iron or whatever. And that'll get me all. And that that will allow me to supply my space station with all of the resources it's going to need. And hopefully, the time it takes me to build the space station up to the point where it's ready for those resources will give the, uh, the the silos enough time to get everything in them that they need for, in order to, to fly off, to, in order to, to actually fill the rockets up. You also need to fuel rockets, of course, and uh, for the more distant flights, that takes quite a lot of fuel. So I've, I've put a, a break on the uh, the vulcanite belt here. It goes down to these this this bit. And this is where we're going to produce rocket fuel for, for all of the rockets in the spaceport. I think I'm going to need to make this bigger, but this is sort of currently, think of it as a proof of concept. So these, these three are going to be a good start. And that will load up the rocket here, it will load up, and, it, and then it will carry on loading up all of the rockets I, uh, rocket silos I build further up. So I think this is going to work. I'm, um, I'm quite optimistic. I think I've probably... I mean, there's there's going to be things I've got wrong, but it's, but it's a good start. And as you can see, the bots are all flitting in now, building up all of the... Um, this the, all of the smelting area down here now to put the robo ports in place um i am going to need power for this as well so let's put in a, another power pole there and there uh, yeah so I'm, I'm happy just to leave them leave them building this now it's something for them to get on with while i uh, go off to to pastures new and start playing around with other things although i do need to make sure that they don't accidentally train things in here that they shouldn't so let's have a look that, that's connected, but that's okay. That's Vulcanite. Those are connected. Let's get rid of the um, what do we call it? Uh, combinators along. Actually, that one's okay because that's a pickup station. Let's get rid of that one though because it's a drop. I don't. I don't want them to come in and drop off massive quantities of copper ore in these stations when they're not supposed to be smelting copper. So we need to do that. So let's see. Increase blasting up. We need to do that. Mass production of rocket parts. That's going well. Uh, what are all these? Oh, there's light bulbs in the um, there's lights in the <laughs> in the blueprints which have got um, not got not getting built. So I'm not actually building lights anywhere because I don't care about them. I'll get rid of those. Other than that, this is all finished. It's just waiting for the plastic to come in. Let's see how much of that we've got. Where is plastic? There is. No. Oh. Plastic is being demanded by all kinds of stations at the moment, and there's only. Oh, there's 19,000 in, so we're nearly ready for another train to come, because the train will come at 20,000. But, oh, look how slow that is. That's terrible. So this is going to take a while. But once it does, eventually this will kick in, and we'll start producing the rocket sections. Then we'll, this, will kick, this will all kick in and start producing a rocket here. But it won't get fueled, um, because we won't have Vulcanite here. And this section down, all this smeltery down here won't kick in until we've got Vulcanite coming in. So a big thing on my list now is smelting with vulcanite. Did I put that in the notes for this? No, I didn't. Um, it's in here, I think. Yes, here we go. Vulcanite to Norvis. That's top of my list. So build spaceport area I've made a good start on. Vulcanite to Norvis is my absolute top priority of this section because so, there are so many other things relying on that. But once I've done that, I can then start working through all of the other things and, work, and getting all of those resources into space. I'll probably do iron... Oops. Iron... I should probably do iron, copper, coal, and glass first because they all come from Norvis, so that's going to be relatively straightforward. I can ship those up from here. I just need to build up oh, and steel as well. Um, I just need to build up the train systems to to actually take them up there. Um, the other ones, beryl, iridite, vitamilange, holmium, and perhaps cryonite, are going to be a bit more difficult because they're going to need to come. I'm going to need to go off to other planets in order to get those set up. So they are on the to-do list, but they're slightly lower down. It's Vulcanite can probably go a bit higher up actually because that's going to be. I can do that while I'm off doing the Vulcanite to Norvis. Um, 
So that's that's shipping resources around by rocket. There's a lot of that. Mass production of rocket parts. I've now built it. That's done. That's finished. <laughs> oh, it disappeared. Oh, and it's gone to the bottom of the list. So that's that's that that one is done. I'm as far as I'm concerned. It, it might need a possibly a little bit of testing, but it's done. Smelting with vulcanite. I've, I've uh, made a beacon. I've designed a beacon design for smelters. As I said, I did that in Creative Mod, so I could, I could sort of iterate a bit and play around with stuff and try different things with, with in, infinite inputs and outputs just to make sure it was working as, as efficiently as possible. The train infrastructure, well, it's still being built at the moment. It's sort of, it's sort of designed. It needs quite a lot of finishing off, though, so I'm not going to tick that off. I certainly haven't built it. Um, shipping resources by rocket. I've started building the spaceport area. I'm not going to call that finished. And tier 2 space license, well, there's a lot of stuff to do in there. I've, I've not even touched on that yet at all. But it's something I know I need to do. So, yes, it's been a very Norvician, Nor Nor Norvician episode. I've, uh, uh, and I've been spending a lot of time down here building up extra infrastructure because quite a lot of this was a bit dated. And if we look over here at the, um, the old smelting facilities, which I've lost radar to. How have I lost radar? Are they not on the same power network as everything else? I think they might not be. That's interesting. So all of this is running off its own separate power network. Uh, which means it's gone dark because there aren't enough solar panels over here. Interesting. Okay, well, we've got a little bit of radar coverage now. So, well, as you can see here, we're, um, we're using quite a lot of resources. It's a bit of a shame, actually, that I'm doing this at this point. Um, that I've built up things in this order. If I don't, if I managed to get the um, the vulcanite-based smelting running first, I wouldn't have had to do all push all of this through here. But never mind. It's not it's not that big a problem. But as you can see, we don't, I, I, I didn't put any belt balancing in here because I it shouldn't. In theory, it shouldn't be needed because you've got the same amount being unloaded unloaded into every single um, lane, the same amount flowing through, and then being loaded in on the other side. And so it should be perfectly balanced. But somehow. It never quite works, and so down here with the stone bricks in particular, there's one of these lanes. Yeah, there's this one, for example. The, this this one's full. Uh, this one's still flowing at full speed. It's, it's just it's, somehow it's managed to get itself unbalanced. So I've made sure they're balanced on input and output on the, for the next one, which is probably unnecessary, but I wanted to make sure. And also, of course, I've stepped up from. I mean, these are yellow belts because uh, they were cheap and available at the time. But now I've I've, I've uh, improved my factory to the point where blue belts are fairly easy to make. Um, so I'm going to be producing a lot more. So this this is, I mean, this is one, two, three, four, six, seven. Eight. This is nine yellow belts, which is equivalent to three blue belts, and I've now got six blue belts. So I've effectively doubled, I've doubled the amount of um, of, of, of copper that I'm going to be producing, but I've only increased the amount I'm using by. Well, not at all, in fact. So it's the same amount in, but twice as much out due to sort of application of better technology. And it's going to, and it's in a much, much smaller space. Look, there's my, um, there's my new smelting area. There's the old smelting area. So if I ever need more, I can just make additional copies of this, possibly further down. This, just carry on making it down here and have additional ones making the copper or the, the iron or the steel or whatever. So that's going to be nice and expandable, whereas this one was just a bit, a bit huge and, in, in, to be honest, in a slightly awkward place. So yeah, this is going, this is going to be much, much better. It's going to use a lot more power, but I've got nuclear for that, so it's not an issue. Um, and apparently these are not linked together. That's a, a problem. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a look at that. Oh yeah, I need, a, need to have one of these in the middle of each set, don't I? Like that. And probably that. And that. Are those okay? Those are linked. Those are linked. These are not. There we go. So this will all get... Yeah, this should all start working relatively soon. Uh, okay, I think that's um, that's it for this episode. I've done um, a fair amount of stuff. I feel, I feel, I feel like it's not an, I've not taken up an enormous amount of space. I've not just gone to new planets or anything like that. But the amount of effort and design work that went into, particularly this one, I feel quite pleased with that. And it's um, And yeah, this should allow me to make rockets at about... I'm not even sure. Um, oh, it's this this many times like a previous rate. Twenty times the previous rate. <laughs> so, so about twenty-one times, I suppose, because I've still got the old one up there. 
So this has got this is running 20 machines. I haven't put any modules in these because the balance turned out to not actually need any. So it, it, I thought I'd rather have more. I might as well just put in more machines rather than using uh, rather than using speed modules, just because it's 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 it uses less power, it uses less resources, so it's probably probably better. Um, so I've got gone for that. Uh, so these these are going to be producing at about 20, 20 times the speed. I think that's getting on for um, about a rocket every two minutes, maybe a rocket every five minutes. If I'm being slightly less um, optimi over overly optimistic. Ooh, we've got some plastic. Yes. And now, so now as you can see, we've got the um, low density structures coming in. So what am I what am I still missing? Rocket control modules. Why is that not going? Uh, where are we? Here we go. Turn that round. And okay, one missing there as well. So as you can see, there's these little, little, little bits of bug fixing you need to do whenever you drop down a whole massive new build like this. But um, this should now start working. Everything should be. Oh, some random stone, a stone and some bricks in there. That's a concern. Have I messed up? One of my... No, I think I must have just. I don't know where they came from, but that's a bit of a worry. But there aren't very many of them, so I'm not going to worry about it for now. I should probably go in and clean that up though, just to make sure. But yeah, I'll do, I'll do that between episodes, just go in and make sure everything seems to be working properly. But it'd be quite nice nice to see it actually kick in and start working. Um, but we're still missing these fuel tanks. And that will be the, yeah, that's this iron here, this this iron bit here. So let's wait a second, I'll speed this up. When that gets fixed, we'll see that's kick in. And hopefully we'll see our first uh, rocket modules come off the line. There we go. It took a bit longer than I was expecting. <laughs> so now we have the iron pouring in, and this should speed up production up here as well, because it's, it's designed for it to require both of these inputs. Uh, so now, as you can see, this is pouring in here. We can start to make the what is it? We're waiting for. Oh yeah, fuel uh, tanks and pumps. Those can start being produced here, and nice and quickly because of all the speed modules in these beacons, and in the assembly machines as well. And eventually, yes, there we go. The, the uh, tanks start to get chucked out onto the onto, onto the belt here. I can follow those up it, up to where they're then loaded into all of the um, into the machines at the top that are actually doing the, uh, the the construction of the rocket sections. So this will take a little while for them to all filter through and for everything to start working at full speed. But if I've done my calculations correctly, and I sincerely hope I have, then you'll see these green lights gradually progress all the way along the machines as more as there is enough as extra um, fuel tanks come up and they all start kicking in. So that's the third one. Third one running, where's the green light? There's the green light, fourth one, and so on. And these are really long builds. They take about 30 seconds to make each each rocket section. So they're um, they can then, but we'll then feed them up into the um, into the machine here to stack them, because that that saves a lot of space. You get instead of having to um, have it basically instead of having one rocket section per stack, you get five rocket sections per stack instead, and much more uh, much more efficient and much easier to transport them around. See another three. And just like that, there's my first stacked rocket section. <laughs> All of that just to make one of those. Now, hopefully it'll start making them a bit quicker and uh, fairly soon. And then that'll get passed through the, um, what do we call it here, through through the uh, uh, balancer and into one, into one of these chests. And eventually we'll hopefully fill all of this up and we can have a train coming up here to move them all the way down here to be, to be made into the new rockets, as I was discussing earlier. Right. Okay, so that's gone. That's, I think that's gone well. Uh, we've, the construction is pr progressing nicely down here. I need to put in another row of robot ports along here, by the looks of it, just to keep everything ticking over. But the basics are going now, so that's that's the main thing. It's um, it's all under control. So, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you'll join me next time where I should be going off to a a, a distant planet and um, and digging up some more uh, vulcanite in order to start fueling all of this nonsense that I've got. <laughs> right, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.